To find the area of the square, I have to use what I know from the triangle next to it. Since this is a square, I know these are right angles, which means this must also be a right angle since they're supplementary, which means we have a right angle triangle. Which means to find our missing side length, we can use the Pythagorean theorem. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Let's assume our missing edge is A, 8 is B, and 10 is C. So A squared is what we're looking for, 8 squared, and 10 squared. When we evaluate that, we have A squared plus 64 equals 100. We're going to subtract 64 from both sides. And when we do, that leaves us as A squared as being worth 36. So to get back to just A, take the square root of both sides, and that tells us that A is 6 centimeters. So up here, A is worth 6 centimeters. But that's not enough information yet to find the area of a square because they told us this little piece up here is worth 2. So we need to find what this piece of the square is worth. Well, we need know the total edge is 6. We know the part up top is 2. So that leaves us with 4 centimeters to be the edge of the square. Now we can find our area of a square. Area of a square is side squared. Well, we just found that that is 4 centimeters, so area is going to be 4 squared, or the area of the shaded part of the square is going to come out to be 16 square centimeters.